We run Sadar Psychological Services. That's a clinical practice where over the years that has evolved into a practice that is specialized in various forms of biofeedback, including neurofeedback. Neurofeedback is a form of biofeedback. If you think about a baby learning to walk, uh, the baby is getting the idea that they want to walk because it looks like a cool thing to do, and they try it, but they don't know how to do it, and they fall. And that's biofeedback. That's feedback from your environment. And based on that feedback, you then get better at walking over time. So neurofeedback is a form of biofeedback that looks at brain waves, the electrical activity in our brain. You're able to look at how those brain waves are working well and not well. And when they're not working well or efficiently, then you're able to learn how to make them change. So it's kind of like a form of physical therapy for the brain. And in doing that over time, you literally can learn to change the way your brain works. In turn, then you can change the way you interact and you experience the world. One of the real benefits is that you do not need to talk about the trauma to attain the benefit. And as I'm sure people who work with, with trauma victims appreciate, there are those that just cannot talk about uh, the trauma situations because that in and of itself is traumatizing. And so this is a way to allow a person to begin to feel better. And with neurofeedback, you can help that brain that has been alert and vigilant for so long. You can help that brain learn how to become quiet and only become vigilant when it needs to. At this point in our careers, we feel a real desire to uh, spread the word and to help good people get in the field and to become confident practitioners. We aren't going to be around forever and we wanted to begin to kind of uh, spread the word. So I think that was the impetus behind our developing you know, our approach. We decided that we wanted to bring in people who had particularly strong areas of expertise related to the course. So we reached out to our colleagues and uh, enlisted the support of a, a neurologist who does neurofeedback, which is a very rare type of combination. And we asked him to do the medication portion of the course. And then we reached another physician who is immersed in the fields of neuromodulation and in research. And he uh, became enlisted to teach the uh, neuroanatomy and neurophysiology portions of the course. So we've got two physicians that joined us in the course in addition to our background. So we've got four of us that really have a strong background in neurofeedback as well as clinical practice and that became kind of the foundation of the course. We knew that we wanted to do it uh, as a self-paced study and so for that reason we know how hard it is to watch hours and hours of Zoom or hours and hours of video. So we literally went to a television recording studio and had them do the recording for us. So that provided the opportunity to bring in different cameras and to show not only just you know the talking heads like you have right here, but to show the screens in combination with recordings and videos and things like that. So we, we wanted to make it a course that would be enjoyable to do and, and, and provide as much information and expertise as possible.